shout out to Beardman. His birthday is tomorrow. God, we're 30 years old. Same age as the Nintendo. So, uh, last year I said I was going to get all the PS3 games. That's not going to happen today because uh, as soon as he opens this door, I'm oh, sorry, literally maybe show it up 68%. Wow, that's a crazy number. <laughs> all of this is going to go into trades. We'll see what we get for I it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. See, this is what happens when you get a system later than its life. You didn't really get to enjoy the games because one, I don't have time. And I'm yeah. the type of person to enjoy a game system when it first comes out yeah. and then grow with it. Like the PS4. Like the PS4. Yeah. We did that with the PS2, the PS1, but now with the PS3. So Let's see what we get. And the last time I traded games yeah. on a game store? Yeah. Long time ago. But I'm pretty sure it's not. I'll give you the cash equivalent of what they'll give you. Do you have a battle PlayStation? No, not PlayStation really. How's that folklore game? Eh. The portal to the netherworld lies beyond here. Go and see for yourself. Why Lester waits to see what he gets. Let's look at some games. Yes. <laughs> There's a 50. <laughs> There's not 5 PC. Lunar 250. Brand new. Missing that game from my collection. Yeah, that's true, but it's still so weird. Yeah. What'd you get, Lester? 8507. What are your thoughts? I'll take a look here. Happy with that? No, I was last year. I did some A lot of it was stolen. Man! Oh. Second son. I'm so uh, tempted. Yeah, like I, I, I might as well buy that new. Freaking, I get this. Borrow Ed's copy. We should get into just game swapping for games that we just want to play. Yeah, because we all have a PS4, right? Yeah. So, but at the same time, I'm a big fan of just having a copy of it. Well, if it's something that you really like, then you buy it, right? So much credit do you have there? I have like 125 credit. I was looking at Dark Water, Pirates of the Dark Water. I remember this, yeah, this show came out a long time ago, and I was like, whoa, it's a good show. The alien world of Mur is being devoured by Dark Water. Only Ren, a young prince, can stop it by finding the lost 13 treasures of war. Thinking of getting Inspector Gadget, 20 bucks. Right. Is it recording for sure? Yeah. Anyway, okay, this is literally the second time we had to shoot this video. Oh, man. You know oh, when yeah. you feel like an idiot is when you're looking at the camera and talking to nothing. Nothing. <laughs> talking to the freaking Pokemon, whatever the heck that is. Turtlewig. What up, YouTube? Nate here. Lester. We're probably going to do this quick now. <laughs> yes, yes. We shot this video once already to a camera that wasn't recording. So, <laughs> oh man, it feels like we're repeating ourselves. Thank you guys for sticking with us. Third pickup video in a row. Fourth now. <laughs> you think I'm done? Anyway, so everything is from today. We went out earlier today, and explain what did we do? Uh, I had a bag of PlayStation Three games to trade. I am not doing my complete collection of PlayStation Three anymore. I think CJ, I called you a quitter already. Yeah, you can call me a quitter soon. Don't so. watch his channel. He has enough viewers already. I think he's at 15,000 tons. Wow. Well, his game room is amazing. Anything so. for a Canadian. Yeah. We like we like CJR. Just bugging me, buddy. On the same note, check out Michael B. The Game Genie's little Samson review. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I like watching that. Totally would love to spend that much money on that game. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the games I want, but I can't justify spending a lot of money on for little Samson. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for a repro version of that game. They have repro? Yeah, yeah. Really? Wow, I didn't know that. So it'd be cheaper, it'd be like 50 bucks compared to 300 or $400 wow. for it. But yeah, anyways, enough of letter time. We're gonna go into uh, what we picked up today. So so you look like you did pretty good at PNP Lester. I did, yeah. Um, what was How much that? did you get? $95 worth in trades. Nice. I didn't spend 
lick with the PlayStation 3 games I get. So, I ended up getting stuff that I'm basically, again, I'm trying to get all the fighting games for the PlayStation 3. Um, I already had this on my 360. Street Fighter 4. Uh, I just need to brush up on my skills because this guy's actually... Street Fighter 2, I can kick his ass in. I oh, the ratio maybe is 1 to 13. <laughs> Let's be, well, if you would pick someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Someone other I like than to Ken. diversify myself <laughs> to Zangief, Dalsum, yeah. except for Blank Guy. I just will never play the thing. Street Fighter 4 though, it's this guy mostly it's not wins. as cheap. Yeah, it's not. Actually, it's very balanced. But yeah, because with Ultra coming out, the cool thing about getting a system, you know, launch day, first day, you know, you get to grow that relationship and what it comes with. I like saying that word, I'm man. I'm in sales, man. I love. I grow relationships. <laughs> I ended up getting. Uh, PS4 games from all those PS3 trades, so uh, Rayman Legends, haven't played it, uh, I think I played the demo of this on a Wii U somewhere, so it's okay, I'm pretty sure it gets better as you, know, as you go along, so yeah, Rayman Legends, and uh, Infamous Second Son, heard good things about it until we went to the restaurant today and Ed was all like, oh no, it's <laughs> not what it looks like, but I don't know, and I was like, then sell it to me, <laughs> no, I already bought it. He's going for a complete PS4 collection. Our good friend Ed from River City Pickups, by the way. So yeah. PS4 and Super Nintendo. Come on, he must. He's not be. going for a full Super Nintendo. Yeah, is, he, is that what he said? Yeah, I haven't seen he's that video. He's for though. real. But he's serious. When he goes he's for a goal, he'll, he'll go for a goal. I know him because he worked with me for our, our first ever retro video game convention in Winnipeg. He's my partner actually. So yeah, check out River City Pickups. Thank you guys very much for everyone who's already made their way over. Tell him Thrift Dweller sent you. I might yeah. get a special prize. <laughs> They're the second hottest internet website on the internet today. But anyway. So what do you feel? How do you feel about your pickups today? Good. I'm, you know, after seeing Jason's collection and everything, yeah. now I'm like, wow, my collection's actually just catered to me now. You know what I mean? Yeah, kind of like a load off your shoulders, right? Exactly. I don't have crap. So I mean, a lot of my stuff came with other things, yeah. okay? You got it for cheap though, that's the thing. Uh, yeah. You could say, hey, I got that game for 50 Ten cents. years ago, you could buy a lot of Nintendo games for 15 bucks. You know, now you can't do that. Everything's individually priced. For my pickups in the week, I'm gonna start with non-video game related pickups. We're not, we're scratching the whole no cheaps thing. Yeah. Everything today is like maple syrup, except for this. <laughs> $3.99 for an Optimus Primal. Dedicated to Noah from GTV News for Gamers. Check out that channel as well. Very cool uh, pop culture slash comic book um, channel on YouTube. I think they should get more views to be honest with you. They should, yeah. yeah. Very good videos, very smart people. <laughs> Moving on to the oh. video game related pickups. Uh, my local Dollarama is selling these uh, Mario Kart pull and release, I guess, figures. Uh, this one's Toad and Peach. Peach. I got all of them basically. Uh, Luigi and Koopa Troopa. And of course, <laughs> Mr. Mario Mario. That's what I was saying I earlier in that other video that was previously recorded. You know, someone could troll and say, why don't you just get a Wii U and Mario Kart 8? <laughs> Somebody would, probably. So, uh, we mentioned it before at our local video game store, P&P Games. They're having a sale right now. Games, buy two, get one free for games $30 and under. So I've been taking advantage of it. I traded in a lot of games. Had like $150 store credit. Used a lot of it today, actually. Uh, $30 games. Joe and Mac for the Nintendo. Fun title, apparently. Mm -hmm. Haven't played it yet. Can't wait to play it. Pirates, a game I've seen tons of and have never played it either. So comment below on any of these games. A lot of today you're gonna hear me say I've never played these games before. <laughs> That's a thirty dollar price tag on that one. Recommended by Alex from yeah. PNP Games. God hand pushing these video games like crack. Oh, we got the last, last copy. copy. Man. You got it. You got it. Uh, help me finish my <laughs> PS2 collection of Capcom games. Oh, wait, one of the more pricier ones for thirty bucks. Man, you know what would be a crazy spine idea? The what? Capcom logo. If you want to know what Lester's talking about spines, stay tuned after the video. Yeah. After the end credits, I'll show you something special. Uh, Lester played this game back in the day, and I think I probably watched him play a burnt copy of it. <laughs> Jackie Chan Stunt Master for PS1. $25 price tag on that one. So good. Oh man, in the last video we were quoting so much yes, Jackie Chan so Rumble in the Bronx. <laughs> you want diamonds? I'll just give you diamonds! <laughs> They're my sister's diamonds. <laughs> oh! Thank you, Jackie Chan. Now he plays Karate Kid, but he teaches Kung Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> With Will Smith's son, out of all people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Street Cop for the Nintendo. $25 price tag on that. Looks like a lot of fun. 
You're a little cop walking around. I have no clue what you do in this game. I'm guessing you arrest people. <laughs> Let me know if I'm wrong. And a game that I've kind of been eyeing, but with the $20 price tag, I didn't want to pick it up until, you know, this whole sale went on. Inspector Gadget for the Super Nintendo. $20 price tag on that. Got this one for free. And I think it's one of the only places you can see Dr. Claw's face. Nice. Because, you know, in the, in the cartoon, if you watch it, you'll see his hands. And that little fat cat. <laughs> and cat he's yeah, petting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. But you see his face in it. Should we show the... I'll show it here. Yeah, just ruined the whole game for the way. <laughs> Here's his face. It's full of funny put Ian's face. <laughs> Dr. Claw. <laughs> oh. This is from the second video we shot today. I think I've seen the timer. Well, I guess our time's up. Thank you guys very much for watching Third Thriller TV. I'm going to be away for a lot of July, actually. Having the baby middle July. Hopefully everything goes well with the baby. Thank you for all the well-wishers out there, actually. A lot of people are, like, you know, really supportive out there. Yeah, very supportive. Which is what we like. So, that's it from us. Anything we forgot to say again? Again? Not really. Facebook.com slash Thriftro is the hottest internet website on the internet today. Not Don't forget to much. rate, comment, and subscribe. Exactly. Check out all the videos we recommended. They're in the description below. Thank you very much for supporting us and them. From Queen 8, Tito Lester. Peace. Let's go show people the spines I was talking about. Okay. How many minutes are there? Ten uh, it's been 10 minutes okay, so far. Okay, cool. There's lots of time. Yeah. So, uh, Lester was talking about spines earlier. <clears throat> and thanks to our buddy Jason, a.k.a. Canadian Zangief, <laughs> you can make your own spines for a series of games. That one's the Resident Evil series on the GameCube. That's all the Resident Evil games. <clears throat> There's all the Zelda games for the GameCube. I kind of made custom spines for those. Maybe I'll make a video, hey? Show well, how that looks, yeah. It'd be a good five minute video. Uh, here's another one I did for the Resident Evil Wii collection. Not that many games for that. There's a Trauma Team Spine. What are we gonna call these? Spino. Uh, Spinoramograms? Spinoramograms. Uh, <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, what do we call these? Here. I made a few of these over here. This is the Fatal Frame f series there. The Onimusha 1, 2, 3, and uh, Dawn of Dreams. Resident Evil PS2 collection, a lot smaller. A couple more that I want to do, but... Oh, here's the Xenosaga, 1, 2, and 3. But uh, the one I'm most proud about making, I made this myself actually, was the Capcom Fighter's Edge collection for the PS1. I'm actually missing three games to finish this collection. There are 14 official Fighter's Edge games, and I'm missing uh, Marvel vs. Street Fighter. Yeah. And I'm missing Street Fighter Alpha 2 and Street Fighter Collection Volume 2. And the last one I made, the Resident Evil PlayStation Collection. Uh, you got Resident Evil 1, Director's Cut 2, 3, and uh, Survivor. Not bad. Not bad, eh? Well, I'm looking at Tekken, I'm like, you could do Tekken 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That'd be kind of cool, but that'd be cross-platform, though. That'd be PS1 to PS2. Hey, they all work on a PS2, man. Right? Game room is always under construction, people. Anyone see my painting? I did this one. Akuma. That's acrylic paint. All dollar store items right yeah, there. It looks real. Two dollar canvas, maybe four dollars worth of paint. Sell and, it uh, to somebody for three hundred bucks. There you go. There's another one. Oh, this there's is the only one I made too. I think I've shown these before there though. There you have. Painted that Oni. I don't like that one. How that one turned out. A little tip I, I heard or I saw. Dollar web store. <laughs> See, for the shading on his teeth, I did gray. If you want to do anything like teeth or you want to do like shine on eyes, it's always better to do it with a light blue. Really? Rather than a gray. Yes. It makes it look more uh, natural and human. There you go. I did not know that. Well, you don't paint, so. No. <laughs> it's funny. Me, him, and Ian were all in the same art class in grade nine. I don't know. They're really good artists. Me, nah, I was just there. I was there for credit. Yes, and to <laughs> throw crayons at each other. Yeah, throw crayons at each other. Yeah, that's how far back we go. Anyway, yes. That's why I could rip Ian on the internet. Yes. <laughs> I know. Ian's our brother. <laughs> I would. Pretty much, he's our brother. Peace.